Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what's obviously most crucially integral to the fabric of our very nature. Today we talk about... And if I had a little black box to keep my Satan in... Everyone's jizzing on everything. It's fine. I would smash his fucking face and beat his ass and rip his fucking dick off. This weekend at X-Talbert's Ladies Night Only. only. Here we go. I guess we're here. We should have went quiet. He's the best. The best. We should do one where we start very quiet, just just like not how we normally start. Yeah, just, right. Yeah. We're, there's no yelling. There's no like let's go. No horns. Okay. All right, and we're here. Okay, and we're here today. How are you doing? Really good to see everybody. Yeah. Hey. Great to see you as well. A little ASMR. Is that what it is called? A ASMR. Should we do that? Should we should we tickle some ears? Yeah, it's weirdly. Wait, have you guys seen these videos where like Too the sexual. microphone has like an ear on it? I have seen that where it's an actual ear. It, it's like and a, you whisper into it. They like yes. suck on the ear and the mic picks up all the noises. I have seen this. This is amazing. What this is this is like an AS. What is it? ASMR? What yeah. Is it? yeah, it stands for Audio Sexual Motherfuckers. Sexual <laughs> Motherfuckers. Relax. Really out here. Return to back, return to normalcy. Yeah, yeah. Really out here. <laughs> really out here. <laughs> but like, there's like um Audio Sexual Motherfuckers. Really out here. <laughs> like, there's like a rubber ear that you attach to the microphone, and these people are sucking on it and getting paid. This world we're living in is wild. See, this is this is what I'm talking about, guys. When we go on the live tour, <laughs> finally, if we ever do that, uh, we got to be doing some really cool stuff like that. That's cool merch. If we have right. this is important ears, whatever people want to whisper in, and we mold it after our actual ears, right? Or buttholes, whatever. <laughs> we talking to the butthole? That seems dope. I mean, that feels like yeah. a really cool move for even like a musical performer to pull up with like the ear microphone and be screaming into it. For sure. You could definitely see like the flaming lip. Wayne Coyne. <laughs> That's tight. Who's going to do that first? Wayne Coyne. <laughs> yeah, Wayne Coyne is already doing it. Oh. <laughs> Lil Nas X, Lil Nas X. Lil Nas X will be the first to do everything. <laughs> he is on a tear. My boy uh, Todd Straw Schulson just did a Lil Nas X music video. This time. Yeah, can we talk about Lil Nas X? Because he did something like Nahi Tweaking, right? Like, you guys know about this, Nahi yeah. Tweaking. Okay, go, Kyle. Sure. I love this from you. Let's hear it. <laughs> so so I have a I have a very interesting story. I, what does this mean? I don't know what Nahi Tweaking means. I heard one of my buddies looked it up, and he said it was something in response to, like, Tony Hawk's uh, blood board, where he actually put, uh, like, blood into the skateboard, and then right. Lil Nas X was like, Nahi. Yeah, and Ooh. he was like, nah, he tweaked yep. it. Liquid Death, a sponsor. And so now I guess everybody just throws nah, he tweaking in the comment, comment sections. And it's of, fully blitzed of just nah, he tweaking, nah, they tweaking, nah, she tweaking. So I haven't posted huh. on Instagram in almost a year hmm. or so. And Are I you threw tweaking? a... Nice, dude. How does he do it? I threw a photo up the other day and within 15 minutes, I looked at it and I had eight nah, he tweakings. Mm -hmm. And I fucking uh, thought I got doxxed or something. Doxxed? That's not what getting doxxed is. Well, you know what dox? Do you know what dox means? Dude, I thought something had been hacked and like they were sending this weird <laughs> message to me because I was like, what the fuck is going on? Everybody's saying, nah, he tweaking. Right. So I straight up did another old man internet move and I <laughs> deleted the photo <laughs> and I turned. Oh. oh, wow. You pulled the ripcord? <laughs> and I turned off. <laughs> Yeah, I turned off my phone. You got scared? I got so nervous that like something was happening to me. Are you high right I, now? Were you high? <laughs> that I deleted it. Bro. Were, were, were you high for this? Yeah. Bro. What was going on? What What do you think? To quote The weekend, were you high for this? <laughs> Bro, yeah. So you were Smoke tweaking? weed every day. I was. So you were tweaking? It actually got me tweaking. It's so true. <laughs> and you thought, they kn you thought they knew? Yeah. So what was the photo that... That you were so scared of, the, of to his post. address. Yeah, your home address. <laughs> yeah, it was a photo of your your child standing in front of your address of your home. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. uh, that would have freaked me out too. I can't remember what it was. I would have got a little worried. I can't remember what it was. I gotta scroll through. 
It might have been a, p- a picture of me with the Oakleys on from the bachelor oh, party. Shit. Looking like that. Oh, okay. Looking hella cool. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's Doc. Doc's that dude. He's the man. Yeah, but it, let's talk about this because because Lil Nas X he put blood in the air pocket of a sh- like a Satan shoe like a few months ago, right? A Nike, a Nike right. shoe. A Nike it was not a Nike product, but he did it. Put out a bunch of them. You could buy them. Which is fucking sick, okay? Yeah. This is an artist. He's doing his thing, and people went after him. They were like, you don't fuck with that. Tony Hawk is putting blood in the paint that goes on a skateboard, and everyone's like, pretty rad. (laughs) Yes. Got no no heat. (laughs) Well, it was because he put, like, he put... Nike wasn't affiliated. I think that was the backlash, right? That it was no. Nike. He like well, bought a bunch of Nikes, did his own thing and resold them and then had like Satan like branding uh, on it. He brought in right. Satan. I, look, look, Nike Nike was not stoked on it, but the backlash came from the public that was like, well, now you're fucking with Satan. We're not on that. But like, oh my God. Sure, yeah, I think it's this, the <laughs> Satan thing. The blood thing, I don't. But guys, hang on a second. That's some <laughs> Halloween shit. That's not real. No, Satan's okay. not real. Okay. Well, for sure. Yeah, I get that. But some <laughs> people do think. Well, but there's a there's a vibe. <laughs> Satan is. Yeah, real. there's a Satan has a vibe, and they're basically just saying like, "Nah, we don't want the vibe of Satan." I agree. <laughs> I do agree. Satan does have a vibe. Satan's and- <laughs> like a vibe, really. Satan has a vibe. Yeah, the whole satanic vibe is a thing, whether or yeah. not he's real or not. And that vibe but- is what. Not nice. You got to get the church ladies. Satan. <laughs> Satan. Satan. Oh, I don't know. Satan. Well, the thing that was upsetting me is throughout this whole entire mix up, no one was giving the greatest rock band of all time kiss its props because they did it way first when they put their blood in the ink for their comic book. And nobody was talking about that. Can I tell you why no one was talking about that? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely no one yeah, knows yeah. that factoid. Nobody knows that Kiss made a comic book with their own blood? No one knows Kiss made a comic book. Are you sure it was Kiss though? Are you sure? Cuz I thought this was I thought this was Glenn Danzig that did this shit. Danzig used to fucking draw with his blood. It was the knights. Everybody's putting blood on everything. Everyone's jizzing on everything. It's fine. And what? that's what I'm Wait, I'm What? <laughs> Wait, who's Jizzy? I say, on, yeah, for our, for our tickets, yeah, for our tickets Wait. that we sell for our live Wait. shows, we jizz and we blood on every ticket, and, and we bleed Ooh, on every bro. ticket, okay. and then we, we sell Metallica them. We Metallica reload? Yeah, we reload on them. <laughs> we went seven minutes and seven seconds without talking about jizz, and here we are. Nah, he tweaking. I don't think I'm tweaking. I think this is, well... I don't, we all just said how cool it is, and it's a vibe. I, I think these are collector's items. I'm allowed to say that your vibe is tweaking. I don't know if we go necessarily Satan. We just go like, hey, we're excreting, we're secreting fluids. Of, of life, of life. Uh, so I just got home for the first time in uh, six months. I haven't been back to my house, and this is the very first time uh, I walked in. The fucking water pressure... Mm-hmm. Yep, I remember your water pressure. Unbelievable, dude. If you go away from your house, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I turned the, fu- it like hurts to take a shower. It's like fucking cutting me as I'm trying to, sh- to bathe myself. Is it? Because I've had a shower like this where like. Fucking thing sucks. When I shower, thank you. When I shower, <laughs> I like to put my face in it, rinse the soap off my face. But I had a shower where I couldn't even put my face. I couldn't put my face in it because it hurt too bad. Like it would get my eyeballs. Right, like you through wow. the through the eyelid. I'm sorry, guys. I'm this cupping is... the water and splashing it on my face because I I don't want I don't want to uh, uh, you know hurt the money. <laughs> hurt maybe. your face. Can you post? Wow. Will you post a video when this drops of you showering and just so people know your etiquette? I will. And I'm really sorry, man. I feel your pain. I feel and like. Do I have to be bleeding and uh, jizzing while this is happening, or we're just gonna go straight just nudity? Just not showering? at all. If you did that, you'd be tweaking. <laughs> you would be tweaking, my friend. Yeah. You'd be scra- scraping. You be tweaking. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's a no then, or uh, right? It, your call. We'll leave it in in your court. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, dealer's choice. <laughs> so the big thing, the big uh, headline of returning home is that your water pressure is just off the charts hard. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's fucking with your face. <laughs> yeah, dude. And the, wi- the your Wi Fi is a little chunking, by the way. Yeah, you you definitely definitely chunko. Yeah, that's just that's just living in the Hollywood Hills, man. Oh, oh okay. really? Cool. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, really? <laughs> 
Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. this in this house, uh, it's because I'm. You know how I'm like, kind of like in the nook of the mountain. Yeah. What's your street name address? <laughs> Don't dox yourself. Don't dox yourself, bro. <laughs> yeah. Watch out. You're gonna get doxed quick. <laughs> I'm in like the nook of the mountain, and uh, they like carved out this little area for my house, and then you made them. The the house was built in 1920s. So like it's fucking thick. It's not like oh the 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 uh, what plaster or whatever of houses now that it could just zap right through. So the fucking internet here just sucks every yeah. <laughs> forever. And no matter what I do, it just sucks. Right in 1928, they didn't have internet. True. <laughs> well, it was beta. That's a big part of this. It was nineteen. It, yeah, it was 1920, and it, uh, yeah, I do believe it was before internet. I think internet hadn't even come out yet. <laughs> Hops. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. We don't know. We don't know what you said, but 1920 for sure, man. 1920, no internet. I do know that is a fact. And Kyle, Jack. not trying to get you docs, Kyle, but like, yeah, yeah. Are you on island time right now? Yeah. Can we speak on that? Dude, I'm on island time. I'm on Maui. Wow. talk hello, about it. Hello. Yep. Hello, baby. Uh, Hawaii rules. Like, it's so good. It's the I best. love it. Uh, the weather's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I went to a nice dinner last night. First nice dinner since like COVID. Mm -hmm. Did you tie the napkin around your neck? You're like, this is fancy. I'm tucking in and up here. Mm -hmm. You better freaking believe it, dog. Yeah, That's actually, my guy. you know what I did? I got I went to Mama's Fish House on the North Wait Shore. Wait a minute, of Maui. you didn't eat salmon again, did mm -hmm. you? Do you got a taste for the flesh now? I've been on Ooh. a tear. Uh -oh. Since the bachelor party, uh -huh. I have had. Uh -oh. Yeah, you got a taste for it. It's back. <laughs> All right, Adam. I have <laughs> <laughs> flesh. Also, the you flesh. said haven't been to a nice dinner yet. Adam, I thought the dinner at your bachelor party was very nice. Shirts off, yes. but very nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we weren't able to take our shirts off right. just you to were, let them know. You were know. being very formal. I got you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. And I had, uh, let's see here. So since the bachelor party, I've had salmon. I've had lobster. I've had ahi. I have had... More oh salmon my God. and some crab, bro. Some crab. I'm dumbass. pissed now. Welcome. Wow. That's just the ocean spider. Yeah, that's true. I love it. That's awesome. So you're no longer a uh, vegetarian. I think so I'm, you're back. I'm pesky. I'm a pesky guy. Okay. So <laughs> are we are we switching up the arugaloid moniker to pesky little bastard? <laughs> pesky, <laughs> pesky little the, buggers. The pesky buggers. <laughs> I like that. The pesky buggers. Keep the arugaloid, but this is this is the pesky season. Uh, okay. I don't know, man. Uh, oh, season of the pests. Yeah. I feel like we got to leave it up to the arugaloids because this is a betrayal. I need to get a bunch of John Leguizamo the pest quotes and we can switch it over to the pest. pest. I'm saying yeah. pest. <laughs> no, well, I, I think we, oh, we go to the. Oh, oh, that's tight. <laughs> we go to the community. We ask the community what they think, and th they should decide. Yeah. yeah. The community should decide, right. and because uh, the arugaloids, they don't. They don't lord over the entire community. I no. think we ask the community, mm -hmm. and then they, they decide if, if, if we're, he's the pesky buggers or not. Mm -hmm. we, I'm happy to have like a sub following also. If you want to remain an arugaloid, oh. all good. But if you want to oh. join onto the arugaloids under the pesky banner, here it is. Who who leans more satanic, the pests or the arugaloids? Because I'm trying to get Definitely the pests. The, uh, pests okay. are, the pests are on that vibe. Are you, are you a satanist, Blake? Yeah, I'm super into Satan. Yeah, I like his vibe. I like his vibe. You are. That's cool. What's your favorite Satan song? My favorite Satan song? <laughs> That's yeah. a good question. Oh, dang. Because there's a bunch of songs about the devil. Mm. Like like Shout at the Devil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> Shout at the Devil. R running with the Devil is a good running one. Running with the with Devil, the Van devil. Halen. Okay. Yeah, that might be my favorite. That might be my favorite. Dun, dun, dun. I feel like... Rob Zombie has some good devil tracks that I'm yeah, like, so devil man, devil man. Now, now. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's your what's your favorite uh, Jesus song then, or God song? Oh, rather? um, no, I the like one the you one hate the most because it's so good you hate it. Because you guys Satanist. remember this one? It's kind of it's a little it's a little long, so just bear with me. But it goes: If I okay. had a little white box to keep my Jesus in, I would take him out and. <laughs> and put him back again. And if I oh, had a little still black going. box to I keep my like Satan in, Satan. I would take him out and smash his face <laughs> and put him back again. Wait, so this is a, like a violent 
So, oh. Well, that's what was really fun when you would go to Sunday school. You could really like get your aggression out right. on that verse. Violence. Like uh -huh. you could add to it, like smash his face and step on his smash balls. his fucking mm -hmm. face. <laughs> but that's not very Christian. <laughs> right. That's not very Christian, though. Did you say that? No, I disagree. I think. I think killing Satan is the peak of Christianity. We must kill Satan. Yeah, I was gonna say, or yeah. or is it very okay. Christian? You know, yeah. they got a they got a history. We all got a history. Yep, yep. Um, I would smash his fucking face and beat his ass and I rip guess his fucking a... dick off. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it. Yeah, yeah, and then my my Sunday school teacher would be like, <laughs> "Yes, <laughs> Amen." Father, Son, Holy yes. Spirit. Very good, Blake. Yes. Like, that's a cool like Sunday school teacher, like just at home whistling, and then they're like, "What if I? Oh, this could be fun song." And then like it goes dark. Who is this person who's writing this song? If I had a uh, little Jesus and a little white box, and why is white why is white good and black bad? Guys, it's it's all fucked up. Yeah, mm. it's all weird. Hey, you know, there's there's lots of levels and layers. Yeah, yeah it's and, just, it's, and why is it gonna be a box? It can't be Thank you. any sort of other. That's where I draw the ball. line. Why right. can't it be Why ball? Why has it got to be the box? Why can't it be a ball or a sack? Mm. Yeah, or like a cup, a satchel, scrotum. Yeah, it can't be a cup. Can't be a <laughs> like a cup with a, a, top. a pyramid. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Can't be yeah, a phallic what the symbol, fuck, man. A suitcase. Piss now. <laughs> a tiny little. I'm purse. pissed now. Fuck I it. Had a little. Purse. Kyle, are purse? you going to get any surfing in out there? Yeah, are you hitting the Narnar -nar banks or what? I hope so. I really do hope so. I know I'm doing some boogie boarding and I'm also doing some uh, body boarding, but I have like four Sick. kids with me that I'm like entertaining on the daily. Like uh -huh. this morning we had like a kid <laughs> dance party. Okay. That was just That's like... Tight. So you have to entertain them every day. That's like part of being a parent. Yeah. 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 No Until days you off. Just, you just hire a staff, dude. Yeah. You're good. You're good. Yeah. There is yeah. no days off right now. Or send them off to war. Yeah. What's up? <laughs> well, it's it's the it's Hawaii though. Can't you just release them into the wild and let them climb a banyan tree and then you go about your business? True. I, the four month old would do well with that. It's mm -hmm. th it's the ten year old that I'm worried about. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. They get wait, into wait, more wait. trouble. What what's is, up, Durs? What, what's the uh, Guys, everyone stop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is the yes. difference between a boogie board and a body board? No, no. Oh. Boogie boarding is is with the board. Body boarding, your fucking washboard abs are the board, bro. Well, no, that's body surfing. Also body boarding. It's the same yeah, thing. Yeah, same deal. They call it body boarding? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I could be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of these things. I got I to gotta make a phone call. All right. We'll wait. <laughs> Uh, You're a stupid <laughs> dumbass. Hello, President of Hawaii. Yes. Uh, you guys yes. are calling it body boarding? Aloha. We, we are. <laughs> Mahalo, brother. Uh, you got to change that. Aloha. Shoots. Is, it, okay. is this Durs 808? Yes, it is. 808 is the area code out here, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Wow. Dude, you just got cred. You got Hawaii cred. Yeah, I got doxxed. Kyle, now, no. are you... The, I, I also love Hawaii and uh, spend a lot of time in Hawaii enjoy it immensely but uh it sucks though right a little bit does it suck sometimes no you guys want to help me out with that one what did he say <laughs> he's asking you he says that he hates hawaii and it sucks sometimes why would why would you be taking that side of the argument adam that's odd uh well here here's why uh there's you you can never eat at the when you want to eat mm. they, they will be off surfing and doing uh, their own, you'll go to a restaurant and it'll mm -hmm. just be closed. And you're like, right. oh, but we were gonna go to eat here. And they're like, there's a good swell that came in. Right. And now we're all well, just yeah. out surfing. But you see those, you see those chickens? You see the chickens walking around? Yeah, go do it. Yeah. You just, you just kill one of them? Yeah, or, or just snag a pineapple. What you're speaking about is what is referred to as island time. Am I correct, guys? Yeah, the island time, uh, it does bother me. I wish it didn't. I wish it didn't bother me. I wish I was just more go with the flow and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll eat whenever the swell is done and they right. can come back and, and cook the food. But I'm, I'm very much like a, a city guy that when mm -hmm. I'm hungry and we decide to go to dinner, I want to be able to eat right there. Right. Do you and remember when we were scouting for house party? Go to New York. <laughs> yeah. New York. Go to New York. <laughs> city guy. You know when we were scouting a house party and we... That's an island. Called ahead uh, for our order and placed all of our order like an hour ahead of time. And then we get there and we only had like 30 minutes to eat and the food just never came. 
and we left yeah, I mean, starving. The only time I've ever been mad at Island Time, I think, was when we were trying to do a production trying out here and and trying yeah. to eat and trying to hit <laughs> deadlines because there were days when some of like our whole art department didn't show up when we were trying to build the sets right. because there was yeah. a dope swell right. and they didn't want to go to the other side of the island and all that good stuff. And I mean, and the moment it was a bummer, but when I think back on it, I respect the fuck out of that. Yeah, it is. It is cool. I do get it. I think that my, maybe that is why because I haven't really vacationed there mm. often. It's always been for work stuff. So oh. every time I'm there, it's like, yeah, that's not why you go to Hawaii now. Come on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, uh, like. Was that Satan just channeling? It? Come yeah. on, that's not your robot. That's good. I like that guy. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Actually, it's a it's a pretty fun place to work. Other than like you know certain things where it sounds like you don't like it. Yeah, everything you're telling me, you're like it's a pretty awesome place to work, except for when you need to get shit done, aka work. Yeah, you're flip flopping yeah. like you're, a build. I feel like I feel like it might have ruined Hawaii for you, and the, yeah. and I feel bad because Hawaii is awesome. It, it is. is. It's so good. You should come here on a vacation. I I need to go on vacation there. Yeah. yeah. I were I, the first time I went to Hawaii was when I was a very angsty teen, and it was like I think I was might have been my sophomore year, and my family's like, "We're going to Hawaii," and I'm like, "That sucks. I just want to stay at John Paul's house and right, play video yeah. games. Why am I going to fucking Hawaii?" And I had the worst attitude. Is I was an absolute shit. I bet you were just an angsty little shithead, weren't you? Dude, I was such a bitch about it. But then <laughs> by the end of the first day, I was like, freaking Hawaii, freaking rocks, dude. Mahalo. <laughs> yeah, man. Once you get in that water and just like, God damn it. And eat some. The Aloha spirit washes over Eat you. some macadamia and, uh, fucking pancakes. My God, man. Bro, yeah. macadamia everything for the <laughs> Oh, there's your shirt. It's full macadamia. <laughs> yeah. Macadamia it's full everything. <laughs> this dude is um, wiling. <laughs> the milk nut, dog. Uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Also, don't fuck with macadamia nuts. The, you don't like macadamia nuts? No, dude. You are so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't fuck with them, man. And they're, not, they're not my favorite. They're not my favorite by a long shot. They're for, yeah, they're for sure. What? The, they're in the top 10 nuts, though, right? They're there are delicacy. 10 nuts. There's like eight nuts. <laughs> what? I'm looking at three nuts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess I'm, I'm I feeling guess, them uh, too. I guess they are in the top 10 out of the out of the eight possible nuts we can Let's nut eat. rank. There's what? Almonds? <laughs> Let's Almonds. nut rank. Cashews, <laughs> cashews walnuts, uh, pas pistachios, peanuts, walnuts, walnuts, pistachios. peanuts. Brazilian nuts. Brazilian nuts. Brazilian nuts. Pine nuts. Peanut. Uh oh, we got six. We already said peanuts. Pine nuts. Oh. Pine nuts. Uh, I pine said nuts. Pine nuts. What yeah. nuts? Pine, pine nuts. nuts don't count. Those are seeds. What the fuck are pine nuts? What do you mean? Pine nuts. Those are seeds. You're tripping, dog. The fuck are pine nuts? You've never had a pine they, nut? They're like in salads. On like, yeah, on like, uh, like an Asian right. salad. Okay, they're, sure. That, that seems like a seed to me, but all right. All, did we say almonds? Yeah. We said almonds guess. was number one. So we only got seven nuts. That's what I said. There ain't ten nuts, bro. <laughs> and I said it's in the top ten. So yeah, I guess macadamia macadamia nuts are in the top ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's ten well, because by far. I'm running out of because I'm eating nuts that I've never eaten before ever and still putting them above macadamia. You're at nuts. Ooh, hazelnut. 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 Good job, hazelnut. 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 And did we say macadamia uh, nut already? Did we say chestnut? <laughs> we did. Did we say chestnut? Is that, is that in the count? Chestnut. For hey, sure. Hey, what about chin nuts? You know okay. what it is when you have chin oh. <laughs> You got a dick in your mouth. Okay. Oh. Wow. Uh, what, uh, what vacations did you guys take when you were like 14, 15, 16? Zero. My parents took <laughs> me to... Uh, oh, really? We, we, we never went anywhere. We no. only went like... We would go camping and shit. But Dears. I remember my parents took me to <laughs> Orlando for... But I was Orlando. a little too old. We went to... Uh, for uh, Walt Disney World. But Ooh. I was a little too old. Like, I didn't yeah. give a fuck. I, I it, Like, you got to take your kids on vacations when they are still young enough to give a shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, by the time they hit 14, 15, they just want to be with their friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was going to say, you're dipping in the real weird world of adults that are obsessed with Disneyland and Disney World. Right. <laughs> oh, dog. <It laughs> I'm is sorry, so mama. Strange. I agree with you. Like under ten, but then there's like these people who are in their twenties and thirties who are like, mm. it's my, it's the, it's my place. Dude, yep. have you guys heard of? And this is a real thing. Have you heard of Disneyland gangs? 
like where you wear your your vest and you like rock your colors and you claim a section of the park and of like course we have Satan. other gangs aren't allowed to go in to your parts or you guys like rumble and shit no well now i'm back what's going on this is cool <laughs> but they don't rumble do they there's no rumble i mean no, they but might like well, snap their fingers and walk in a circle right yeah, they're fighting broadway style no they break their fingers it's Ooh, fucking, it gets yeah. it gets bad out there, like the haunted house Hector's or something versus like the future future islands and shit. Really, you gotta look it up. Future islands. I, I made up the names. Band, future but islands. yeah, the band. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a great band. So you're saying the future island guys are in a? a <laughs> They're gang? in a Disney gang. Um, the Mickey no. Men. <laughs> Wait. So how old were you when you went, Adam? <laughs> that you were just over it, twelve or something? No, I was fourteen years old, oh, yeah. and I just remember I was just like too horny to be out in public. But. I was too horny. That's where the, but it's Orlando. Ooh. Titties were out, no? Mom, mom boobs? I know, but I was jerking off all the time. It was not, a, I was like just <laughs> dipping away to go jerk off places. Right. Mini I'm Mouse? Like, it sucked. I yeah. should have just been at my house where Jerking I could just jerk off, off at peace. Yeah. Well, it is a bummer because you do, when you go on a family vacation, you kind of have to like mom and dad sleep in the bed and then you pull out a cot and your sister's in the same room or your brother's right. in the same room. It's really hard. Oh yeah. We, there was no like two bedrooms. It was all four of us sleeping in one hotel right. room. So it's just me taking like a lot of bathroom breaks. Oh yeah. You took long like, I'm showers. I'm just always shitting, you know? Why is the conditioner all gone? And then my dad absolutely every time would knock on the door and he'd be like, uh, uh, you're going to go blind in there. Because he knew. Mm. Worth yeah, it. Yeah, because he knew. And I'm like, you're not. Why do you always say that? 100% of the time I was. <laughs> you had your dick in your hand while you were saying, like, no. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm jacking up. That's what I'm doing. I'm stroking it, like, sure, very gently. And sure, sure I'm, I'm working am. the head now. <laughs> no, I'm using both hands. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just come standing up. <laughs> I just have my hands in one position and I'm fucking them. And I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking them. Sure I am, Dad. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm watching myself in the mirror fuck my own hands. Yeah. Uh, I'm dropping into my own hand. Oh sure, Pop. Yeah, I'm using the detachable shower head to shoot up my ass and on my balls. <laughs> Your dad's in the hallway going like, I think he's fucking doing it. I think uh, well, knock it off then. Uh, yeah, uh, I remember we went to Vegas. Uh, uh, winning. Uh, it was it was like I must have been like it's probably the next year. It's like fifteen or something, and we went to Vegas because Vegas is like a pretty cheap family vacation because they have all kinds of deals. I thought you said you went camping, and now you've gone to Disney World in Vegas. That's pretty good, dude. Yeah, you're family was killing it yeah durs durs said he didn't go on any vacations yeah, but those were the those are the two places durs didn't get to do this i know but he lived on a he lived on lake michigan like he was like a block away from okay. the lake so yeah i grew up on a houseboat it's science <laughs> <laughs> that'd be something yeah. uh yeah so we went to vegas i remember like also too horner to be out in the world i had to the, there was like a you know how they just hand out porno on the streets there? <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Right, they, yeah. They, they, like, have those guys with the cards that are smacking them, and then they, they yeah. just have, like, little naked ladies on them with, yeah. like, right. numbers and shit. I mean, right. And uh, yeah. I, there was, it was strewn about on the street. I remember just having to, like, I said, like, I was going to go get ice, and then I <laughs> dead sprinted outside, uh -huh. got as much shit as possible, and then sprinted back. You just picked it up off the ground or from, like, people? Yeah, from the ground. And then they also have, like, the, uh, the like... Oh, the mailbox. Or, yeah, the newspaper boxes. Yeah, that they just keep stacked. And then I stuffed it in my pants, and I came running back and got the ice. And I'm, now I'm sweating because it was, like, a... Because it's a Vegas yeah, hotel. It's, hot, it's like, it takes a long time to get outside. <laughs> yeah. It's the desert. Yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> and it's hot. It's the desert. Yeah. And I remember just my mom, like, you know, thinking something was was up. She was like, it took you that long to get ice? And I'm like, yeah, every machine in this hotel's busted. I had to go to, like, six yeah. machines. Goofy. <laughs> And then, like later that night, she goes so and gets <laughs> she goes and gets ice, and she's like, the one. And I'm like, they must have fixed it. The yeah. one down the hallway is working. They must have fixed that real quick. <laughs> you're shouting this. You're oh. shouting this from the bathroom. If you have you have from like, the bathroom all these things yeah. laid out perfectly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess they fixed it. I love that you're outside picking it up off the ground like it's the fucking parade from Batman where Joker threw out all the cash and people are going oh. crazy. <laughs> okay. So tight. 
I good love ref, that. Good ref. Good ref. I love that. Sick ref. Points. Points. Hey, do you remember what um what uh, hotel you were staying in? Yeah, the uh, Excalibur. Oh, that's the best one. Dude, I was going to say that. That's the best one. Is that a castle? Yeah, that's the castle. It is a castle. And they have, like, great merch. Like, if you ever go on, like, eBay and just look up old Excalibur shirts, they're freaking rad as hell. Yeah. There was a nightclub in Chicago called the Excalibur. Ooh. Does when it I was, go like, off? 12. I mean, it was shaped like a castle. Wait, you? So you went to a club when you were 12 and Adam went to Vegas when he's 14? No, no, no. No, you just knew it was there. You knew it was there. No, because on the radio stations, they'd be like, they had this thing called Starbeat Presents What's Happening. <laughs> and then it'd be like, this weekend at Excalibur, it's ladies night only. Like, you know, it was just they do the commercials on the radio. It was so fucking tight. Dude, that's sick. I love shit like that. When you, like, kn as a little kid, you, like, know that it's a place that adults right, go, right. and you're just like, so you and your friends, you're like, oh, we should maybe hit up Excalibur this weekend. Like, oh, oh, oh that'd be awesome. And this is like 90s house music at its height. So it was just oh, like, oh, damn. It was, it was a, it was a culture. It was something. Man and not, eh, eh, na, na, na. Yeah, it was that. <laughs> uh -huh, it was exactly that. It was deep inside, deep, deep, deep inside. And that's why when Kanye put that on the album, I said, he's come home. He's back to Chicago. He's okay. back to his roots. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Kanye, back in the... Kanye! <laughs> well, Kyle, did you did you go on any uh, family vacations uh, where you couldn't stop masturbating? <laughs> well, or... it was... It, I had... I did have... <laughs> just me? Is it just me? No, 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 no. I mean, you're a hornball for sure, but like we all were. I mean, I'm. I had the... I had the issue of not being able to masturbate, and then I uh, compounded on top of that. I had the other issue of smoking cigarettes because I, right, uh, I couldn't travel with cigarettes as a nine-year-old. So mm. I needed to find cigarettes because I was addicted by age twelve to the point where I was stealing okay. from the store and like stealing from fucking ashtrays or like pretending like I was eighteen and trying to bum off of people. So I. Gosh. I had this other issue. So would you like lower your voice and be like, hey, uh, mind if I uh, catch a fag or <laughs> whatever? Or like a, ca a cancer stick? <laughs> bro, bro, yeah. Bum a, yeah. Bum a cig. <laughs> well, why don't you give me another nail in the coffin, huh, buddy? <laughs> you know, just a <laughs> dude that's just kicking it outside. You got a Lucy or anything? <laughs> Meanwhile, you're 12 years old. Hey, man, do you mind if I get another nail in the coffin? <laughs> Can I get another paper rolled up thing with the stuff? The, 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 the tobacco stuff? in it? Can I get a cancer stick, sir? But I would somehow find them. I don't know how I did it. I would somehow find these smokes and I would like keep them and I would have like a little stash and mm -hmm. I would... Uh... Smokers have like a kinship. I, I think because it is such an addicting thing yeah. that like when someone asks... I was always jealous of friends that... Because uh, I never smoked. Uh, but I was like jealous of my friends in like eighth and ninth grade right, absolutely. that like could just go up to any group of people and be like, hey, mind if I bum a cig? And then they're in that little right. club. Yeah. And they're just chuckling. And then I'm just like the guy who's just like, well, shit. All right. Can I stand next to you guys? <laughs> well, do you remember that like world famous commercial where it was like the guy out on the balcony by himself and the girl comes out and he's like, you know, funny thing is I started smoking to be a part of the party and mm -hmm. now I'm outside mm -hmm. of it. Yep. Yep. It was profound. <laughs> that, that was profound. That shit's important. Does anyone out there remember that world famous commercial? <laughs> Shout I out do. to Blake and his DMs. That shit's I, important. I remember that world famous commercial. I do remember that world famous commercial. Thank you. It stuck with me. It stuck with me. That shit's important. I had TiVo very early. Uh, I skipped commercials probably during that whole era. <laughs> I wonder. <laughs> you had eighteen twenty nine TiVo. Yeah. The cigarettes is what the cigarettes is what got me in like every group in high school. It really was that. It's like I could go hang out with the freaks in the back. I could hang out with the, the janitors. The janitors. <laughs> I know. I'm like, what are these groups? <laughs> hang out with the musicians. <laughs> I could hang out with the artists. Angry teachers. Hang out with the drama club. Do you wish you didn't smoke, or are you stoked on? Well, I mean, are you happy? Did it make you who you are? Kind of thing. That's where you are. Fucking right? no regrets, dog. I I yes. Don't don't like the uh, the damage that I did to my lungs, but it's been you know. So you regret that? <laughs> it's been eight years, and I feel like I'm they're growing back. Uh, you know. Um, uh -huh. 
But yeah, I I don't know, man. I guess I, looking back, I kind of wasted a lot of fucking money in the hardest time of my life yeah. buying cigarettes. And I risked a lot just to get cigarettes, like stealing always. Like it was it was not a great thing for me, but it did shape me. It shaped me. So And in that, uh, I mean, my dad quit for like seven or eight years and then the cancer struck. You know right. what I mean? Like Right. So fuck so fuck it. Well, it, when when that happened to your pops, when that happened to your pops, I was like, dude, I remember smoking ciggies with him. Mm-hmm. You know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like and mm-hmm. and that's it does like freak me out where it's like, "Oh, I'm so fucking glad I quit because I'm not sitting here with wanting to go have a cigarette and then every time you smoke being like, "Dude, this is going to fucking kill me." Mm-hmm. Like I know this is going to kill another me. Another nail in the coffin. <laughs> what another nail in the coffin? <laughs> uh what do you think the like our generation I think our generation. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> fuck. Oh boy. <laughs> Spilled the shit all over. That sounded uh, bad. I fuck think uh, our generation. It, it's going to be like energy drinks. We're going to find out that energy oh, drinks. Yeah. Like. <laughs> what do you mean find out? Our hearts are going to. What? What? We, we don't know anything about energy drinks. There's no. There's not like they're bad for you. There's no like energy drink cancer that that we've found out yet. I know. I know my dick doesn't work. What? Right? You. We've <laughs> talked about this. Well, it probably like rotted your gut. We've talked about this on. For yeah, ulcers are one thing, but we've talked about this on the podcast. Yeah. You went to the doctor because you were having like heart palpitations or murmurs. Yeah, uh, I and- know, <laughs> but I don't have cancer because of it. <laughs> Sure, cancer is one Yet. thing, but it's definitely not good for you. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna talk. We're gonna look back at eating meat. I mean, Kyle, you're you're part of the future, but we're gonna look yeah. back at eating meat and be like, what were we doing eating meat that yeah. way? Right. We we've evolved past it. What were we thinking? I know what we were doing. Yeah, building muscle, being strong as hell. We were fucking yeah, <laughs> getting being beef castles. Yeah, being beefy as fuck, being cool, having delicious ribs. I um I yeah. love meat. I'm I'm here for it. Uh, I'm a burger. Meat god. is burger. Uh, but but looking back, we're gonna go. Oops. Yeah, and we're talking like 300 years from now, 500 years from now. They're going to be like, what the fuck were they doing? They were just constantly raising animals to Mm -hmm. kill in the worst circumstances. Well, we won't be in charge then. The robots will. No, we'll be living on the hard drive. Yeah, and they'll be looking down from Mars and they'll be saying, hey, you guys were wild on planet Earth, brother. Bro, this is all... What is it? This is all a uh, what is it? It's a not simulation. Real. It's, this is oh, we're living simulation. in a simulation. Okay. <laughs> Wait. Okay. If we're getting into we're it. living in a nightmare. Goodbye. I so Kyle, I I finally <laughs> watched this HBO QAnon documentary. Yes. Oh. Welcome. Jeez. Oh, I've seen it. I've seen it. Into the storm. And the guy looks so much like Kyle. I've never seen anything more crazy in my entire <laughs> life. Oh, yeah. The guy that started the, uh, what is it? 8? 4chan. 8chan. Yeah. 8chan. Now it's 8chan. 8 8 but he's he's QAnon. I mean, they say he's QAnon. But like, yeah. um, <laughs> he looks like Kyle and it's crazy. It is bizarre. <laughs> it looks exactly like Kyle in film school. Yep. For sure. It is really bizarre. Yeah. And you were, you, when you sent that photo, you sent the photo to the group. And you were like 2000, what did you say? Like 10 Kyle? I think 20, 20, 2011 Kyle. Yeah. Like I mean, like that was Kyle's look from like 2005 to 2010. Yeah. yeah. You could pull up like the MOC website, old, old files and pictures. And it looks exactly like that, dude. He has the same, the same glasses, the same flat brim, the same flannels, the same even mustache with the little Winchester thing. Everything yeah, those, the those little Buffalo Bill, the little Wild Earp. The glasses have tape on them. <laughs> Wyatt Earp. It's crazy. So if we're in a simulation, what does that mean? Well, now you're going down. Now you're going down QAnon, and uh, that's that's kind of not what we're talking about. So yeah. Wait, it is you. Wait a second, yeah. it no! is you. Kyle. If we're living in a simulation, and you mm. accept that as truth, what does a doppelganger actually mean? It's fucked up. It just means they ran out of ideas for new people. They ran out of avatars, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It means that it means that God doesn't make mistakes, and sometimes He makes two perfect things that are the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Put them in a white box. Okay. You satanic bastard. I mean, imagine if your life like really, 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 really sucks, and then and then you find out that you're in a simulation. How fucking bad would that suck? <laughs> it's like even in a fucking video game, I got the fucking shitty. Yeah, yeah, I think but I got the shitty version of it. But I think people what they do is they go, We're in a simulation, so like 
So nothing matters. Well, so maybe so nothing matters. And then also like my shitty life, this isn't real. So I don't have to take it as seriously. You know that's, what I'm saying? And dude, if it's the, a simulation, I can figure out how to work the simulation and improve my situation. Well, sure. I mean, that's a way to just look at it. Like it's like if you just look at life as a giant game, that is a good way to look. I mean, obviously it's right. a very serious game, but go see Free Guy on. Yeah, it's Free Guy. <laughs> yeah, this is Free and Guy. And that brings us to our first ad break, Free Guy. <laughs> That being said, I want to see it. I want to see Free what, Guy. What do you want to see? What about that movie makes you want to see it? Ryan Reynolds? Taika. I read this script back in the day, and uh, I really liked it. Mm. It was it was, a, it was a really fun fun script. I, I want to see Taika play the bad guy. There you go. Right. Yeah, there we go. Um, The one thing that I have noticed, though, with like a lot of television going along the lines of like um a simulation or whatever, have you noticed like a lot of shit like debates like alternate timelines where like we're living in these different fractured timelines like i feel like rick and morty hits it a bunch i feel yeah. like marvel universe hits it a whole bunch like the multiverse yeah it's like an escapism where it's like oh gosh we're just living in like a really bad splinter of timelines and i'm like what are we preparing people for yeah is it just because like the world kind of sucks now like global warming <laughs> yeah. has like there's fires every fucking yeah. day there's the east coast is just flooding there's hurricanes there's tornadoes in hawaii you know this is like a theory that is just going against what we had before like when we were growing up we had ashton kutcher in the butterfly effect right thank you yes that was kind of like you can't change okay yeah, you can't change. Like, a butterfly flaps his wings, and then everything else after that is what it is. Mm -hmm. Now Thank we're you. challenging that theory you know I mean? with the multiverse concept. Yeah, we're like, no, butterflies don't mean shit. <laughs> it's not about butterflies anymore. <laughs> I'm team butterfly effect, man. Dude, that movie rocks, and I'm not being ironic. That movie fucking kicks butt. That movie fucking rules. Guys, are you fucking with us? Ashton Kutcher underrated. Are you guys fucking with us? I'm not. The Kutch is underrated in the <laughs> butterfly effect. I do remember somebody telling me that that movie was actually fucking dope and I've never seen it, but I remember being like, mm, still not going to see it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's inc you should watch it. it. I mean, when I watched it, I I was blown the fuck away. Durs would hate it. Durs would hate it. There's without a doubt, Durs would hard stance it. Adam, you like that movie where uh, Homeboy takes the fucking pill? Blow? <laughs> well, yeah, Blow's another example. But I love Blow, my <laughs> favorite movie of all time. The first half. You love these movies where people get a thing, they figure out some secret, and then like their life turns into this awesome thing, and then there's like the backlash in Act Three, right? Uh, yeah. I is that what it is? But Adam Adam doesn't watch Act 3. He only watches The Rise. Right. Yeah, I don't like the... Remember with Blow, we established he only watches the fun part and then turns it off as soon as it gets sour. Right. Well, not... it's not like I've seen... It's I've, I've seen the bad part of Blow. But you don't when... like to pay attention to that part of the story. But, but the fun part of Blow is the first two acts when it's just... <laughs> right. <laughs> And Bobcat is going like, oh, that's some really good stuff, man. I've never seen it this great. The first act of a Coke movie is fun. What other good movies where like um, the first 20 minutes are like an awesome thing before like shit really hits the fan and it turns into like a castaway? Like you like Requiem for a Dream the first like seven minutes. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. When the drug, <laughs> it's drug movies. It's, right. it's just drug movies. The, yeah. the beginning's fun and then the come, it's the come down. My favorite movie is Jaws. It's about a campfire <laughs> and then a, a girl gets naked and goes swimming. <laughs> It rocks. Yeah. It's not too long. <laughs> yeah, Friday the 13th, they like kick it in a van and it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or Nightmare on Elm. What's that? I don't know. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. He's got great sleep. Uh, what year did Butterfly <laughs> Effect come out, though? Because uh, I feel 2004. Okay, my, my guess, 2001. I'm saying four. I'm saying four. I think it was post film school for me. You think it was post uh, us graduating high school? Yeah. Are you looking it up, Blaker? I'm trying to, but I'm, uh... You're trying. I'm failing. Googling's hard. It is. It's tough. I'm saying 04. I feel like somebody came... 2004, my gosh. Yes! Oh, my God! Durs. Well done. Right on. Right on, buddy. French kiss. Oh. Oh. I feel like during those, like the 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 what do we call those, the aughts or whatever, there were some like, dude, nobody cares. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> there were <laughs> that was some good. like that was good, really good movies that were excellent that like aren't mainstream. Like, do you remember that movie like Frailty with like uh, dude, 
So good. It was like Bill Paxton, right? Paxton, yeah. And it's just like a really great movie, great script, like great twist, all that, but like not everybody saw it for some reason. With Powers Booth? Powers Booth is like the detective, right? Yeah, and I just feel like there's a lot of stuff like that. I feel like can you can you give me a little can you give me a little like what what is frailty? Just give me the Yeah, I don't know this one. Frailty is about this dad who believes like God is telling him like people that he needs to like uh, kill in the name of the Lord because they're right. like evil people and he's being so he's basically his son thinks he's like a murderer that's tight but he's telling him it's all justified killings and it's like this weird trip right and the kid knows that's right. like every like serial killer thinks that they're just for doing their fucking absolutely insane thing Right, but there's things in the movie that make you think he's right. Yeah, you teeter whether he is insane or whether he is actually. Now, is Johnny Depp dealing cocaine in this movie at all? Or uh, there? Well, the beginning of the movie is just them bumping Mad Rails time <laughs> right. off. Like, <laughs> okay, I might like it. I might like yeah. the first movie, half of it. What's the one with Kevin <laughs> Bacon? Tight. What's the one with Kevin Bacon where he starts drinking all that orange juice and he's digging all the Hollow Man? No, well, that's that's uh, that's a whole other thing. That one's so sick. <laughs> <laughs> that one's problematic. Yeah. Adam loves Hollow Man. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, the one with Kevin Bacon where he's drinking uh, all the orange juice. He's drinking all. He's digging all the holes in the backyard because it's it's almost like a field of dreams type. That's thing. called holes with Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> wait, what is it? No, it's it's. Wait, hold on. Let's go. Wait, it's. It, what is it? Let's go. Let's, let's go. <laughs> wait, let's go. Wait, let's go. Let's <laughs> go. It's. It's it's not Ghost in the Darkness, but it's something about like ghosts. Oh yeah, something Ghost. Ghost in the Darkness is the Lion movie, right? Yeah, with Val Kilmer. Yeah, that's Haley Joel Osment. That was Ghost was uh, Patrick Swayze, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> no, that's no, Ghost. Ghost in the Ghost in the Darkness is Haley oh. Joel Osment and two lions. No, it's no, it's Val Kilmer and like Robert Duvall or something. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was Haley Joel Osment too. Here's it's coming in the Let's chat. Go. 2004. Todd <laughs> Stir of Echoes. Oh, Stir of Echoes. Stir of Echoes. Yes. Stir of Echoes. Honestly, Stir of Echoes has the trailer that has like the Paint It Black song, and I believe it's like oh. cover, and it started a trend that has not stopped. Okay. Mm. In fucking trailers, bro. What the fuck are we talking? And stir of echoes i've never even heard of this movie it's good it's good kevin bacon i think there's a video game and there's a stir of echoes 2 uh, oh. uh starring rob lowe that's also exists i'm gonna pull up ghost of the dark <laughs> i mean Let's go! I, i've never even this there's such a hole in my in my snapchat memory it was the early 2000s like great movies and were no one out. is dealing drugs at all. No one is I don't I don't know. I haven't seen Stir of Echoes. Okay. I feel like there could be druggies. Are there ten Ferraris in a parking lot of a house? <laughs> What's the Ferrari count? Adam only likes movies. I only ever watched the first uh third of Wolf of Wall Street. The Ferrari count has to be over five for Adam. It rocked. I give this movie five Ferraris. Kyle, when you were saying it had like painted black, are you saying like the way like Jordan Peele uses like I got five on it, but then like makes it like a scary version of the song? Mm -hmm. He got that from Stir of Echoes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. I'm pretty sure it was like a cover version of the song. But wait, here's another one. Remember the fucking John Goodman Denzel Washington movie Fallen? Falling? Falling Angel? Fallen. Fallen, Fallen is is the name of a. That's another one where it was just fucking dope. Denzel had like four movies that were like Man on Fire, like they weren't like theater hits, but they were like DVD smashes. Man on Fire is technically a swimming movie, so I'm with you. Great moment. I feel like Denzel. Uh, I mean, they it, that was a hit. Was it? Yeah, Man on Fire. No, um, you're thinking of you're thinking of Man on Fire. Man on Fire was a hit. That was a great film. Or Out of Time. I think he has one called Out of Time. Oh where Denzel just fucking crushes. He makes so many goddamn movies. And they're all good. Best dumbest movie ever was Deja Vu. That's kind of a like butter, butterfly effect, right? That wasn't dumb, though. That wasn't dumb, right? Wait, no, no. It makes zero sense, the whole concept. Oh. But like, because at some point when they're explaining it, they're like, just go with me here. And you're like, oh, they're talking to me, <laughs> the audience member. And if you buy into it, it's fucking dope. That was a note from the network, and they're like, how does the line just go with me here? Does that fix it for you? <laughs> and they're like, yes. <laughs> there's, hey, what if there's a, yeah, there's, there's a note from the studio. It's like, hey, what if we had a narrator that just says, 
hey, uh, audience, um, just go with me here. Maybe maybe we do that in the Workaholics movie, Durs. It's just a little pitch. We will. We will. They have a they have a fucking scientist like explain it, and then the person's like, I don't think that makes any sense. And they're like, just go with me here, and like you go, oh okay, like great. It's science. And then there's like car chases that happened four days before, but he's chasing them. Memento shit. Now it's fucking sick. I, when I was talking about Ghost in the Darkness and I said Haley Joel Osment, I was thinking about secondhand lions <laughs> with Robert C. Paul. That's my bad. Michael Douglas is in Ghost in the Darkness, correct? Yes, it's Michael Douglas and Val Kilmer. I mean, guys, I haven't followed this conversation now for 10 minutes. I've, I don't know. Adam, macadamia nuts. Wake up! Uh, for whatever reason, maybe... <laughs> Maybe I didn't see a movie in 2004. Maybe I, there's like every movie that you're mentioning, I've never even heard of. Well, we lived together and we smoked a lot of fucking weed when we lived together in 2004. So like possibly you didn't clock anything. Damn. Yeah, man. I still still do. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> Snapchat memory could be the mm -hmm. weed's Ooh. adverse effects on your particular body chemistry. I mean, it might it might be the it might be the vax, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Pusty. It might be the vax. Hey, do we think it's the vax? Yeah, it could be. Were you vaxxed in twenty four? Were you vaxxed in two thousand four? It yeah. erases all of your uh, garbage memories before yeah. uh, before the vax. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. It's like uh, okay, that's cool. You might have the the, the COVID foggy brain. I remember blow scene for scene. <laughs> Can, can I say one thing that's interesting? And this, yes, uh, yes, this might be the difference between us. It starts with the penis. Um, Correct. Is that you remember all that fun? The only thing I really, when you say blow, the mm. only thing I think about is Penelope. Let's go. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Play. I'm P. sorry. Cruz, Bubba Baby. I remember Penelope Cruz in that windsuit at the end. <laughs> Woo. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's all. That's all I think of. I don't think of anything except for her looking busted as hell in the sick ass windsuit. But well, that's why you got. You, that's why you don't watch the last twenty minutes. Yeah. You just turn it off. See, that's what I think about too. I think about Johnny Depp in the old man prosthetics walking through jail. Yeah, with like the bad members only jacket. Yeah, the, the, at the end of the movie, gets sad, guys. Yeah, it gets it's inevitable. Sad. But the first hour of the movie is a fucking banger, baby. Penelope tears it up. Is this the same movie where are there people in like an FBI thing listening to him? Or no, I'm thinking of Johnny, uh, Donnie Brasco, where they're like, oh, Donnie Brasco is so good. Donnie Brasco is good. They become like fanboys and they're like, so what, what does it mean when you guys say this? And then they're like, he's so cool. That's right. That's I like that yeah. movie. Bro, movie when Depp chops up to like saws it. Okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> saws the bodies and he has to do that. That's a fucking crazy. Spoiler. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. That's an amazing moment. It's a sad moment. Yeah. How's Johnny Depp doing? Is he hanging in there? Johnny Depp, he's been out of the news for about a decade, I think. So. Hey, we've got some Hollywood goss. <laughs> no, that's not that's not at all true. He's What's like up? in all kinds of hot water because of... Uh, no, he like... he's been out of the news for about a decade now. I think uh -huh. he's just been Perfect. hiding, drinking wine. <laughs> well, it, it, was, it was something like uh, he had like a $2,000 a day wine habit it's more than that it was like it was Dude, twenty thousand. I, I think it was 20 or thirty thousand. it was thirty thousand dollars a month i think of wine yeah which is so cool that's so <laughs> much wine like he took he took his like pirates of the caribbean character like way too seriously <laughs> he got lost in the sauce did you guys know that he was in, he's in a band where he actually star dog yeah like hollywood vampires or something yeah he actually rips on the guitar you can watch some uh he rips yeah, well, he, I mean, he he pulls it off. He pulls it off. He doesn't rip <laughs> like Jack White. Big difference. I'm sorry. I didn't mean <laughs> to say rip, but he pulls it off. He wanted to be a musician before even becoming an actor. That was like his thing. So, yeah, I bet he, I bet he rips. No, he pulls it off. He pulls it off. <laughs> he, pulls he does it not off. rip. I'm thinking of like Jack White. And all, no, he doesn't he rip. Rips he rips it off. He fucking hits the notes. He rips it off. <laughs> yeah. He rips it. And then he pulls it. Who is the best uh, actor? <laughs> Johnny Depp. Who has a band? Ooh. The Bacon Brothers. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, Drake. The Box Cutters. 
<laughs> oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, <laughs> Billy Bob's good. <laughs> All right, so we got them. Um, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis has a band. I feel like everybody at a certain age. Jason Schwartzman. They just go like, I guess I just uh, start a band. Don't forget about Coconut Records. Jason oh, Schwartzman. Yeah. Who's Schwartzman. Those, oh, it was uh, California. Yeah, that's a hit. That California. Wait. Is that that's that's not Jason Schwartzman. His was I'm going to the West Coast. I, no, I think I think Adam's right. I think yeah, that I'm right. No, it's like I wish I could put you up into my suitcase <laughs> and take you. I think those are the same song. No. Yeah. I think Adam is singing the hook. <laughs> I'm I'm right. Adam singing the theme to OC. I know. I thought that that was yes! it. Schwartzman <laughs> does. <laughs> Sourceman does I wear the West West Coast. Yeah, yeah. Who's who's the actor from Gladiator? He had a band too. Russell right? Crowe. Russell Crowe was lead singer of the Black Crows. <laughs> oh, dude, the other actor from Gladiator, a uh, great band, Joaquin Phoenix. <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> it's uh, Phantom Planet. It's Phantom That's not Planet. Jason Schwartzman. And uh, yes, it's the- Jason Schwartzman is Coconut Records. Yeah, yeah. And he plays West Coast. I can play it for. You. Jason Schwartzman was also in Phantom Planet. Yeah, he was in Phantom Planet, and he did the uh, the theme to OC. You guys are both idiots. It's fine. No, that can't be true. But it's true. You idiots! Uh, yeah, he was in both. See? Duh. Jason is the drummer and songwriter for the band Phantom Planet. Wait, there's got to be a best. Oh, Jared. Dude, Jared fucking Leto. What are we doing here? Oh, Jared Leto is the best. 30 seconds to Mars. Yeah, the best crossover. Okay, I apologize. I, I, you haven't apologized. The apology coming. I'm excited to receive that. Uh, 30 seconds to Mars. Yes, that wins. Yep. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, he probably wins. <laughs> Unanimous. It's 30 seconds. Okay, first person to name a 30 second to Mars song wins. Go. Blast um, off. <laughs> bury me, bury Wait, me. What right? about Jack Black? Jack Black and Tenacious D is fantastic. Oh, well, uh, come I mean, on. he wins. He has yeah. to win. Come on. Yeah. Yeah, he crushes. He has to. He wins for me. I'm sure uh, Leto is. Uh, what is it? 30 Seconds to Mars? Is that the name of the Yeah, band? I would much rather see a Tenacious D show. I'm sure that band is bigger than Tenacious D is, but Tenacious D rocks way harder. So are we just skipping over Jamie, Jamie Foxx? Does it have to be a band? Or what are we doing? Well, that's what I was saying, Joaquin. It's like he had a rap career. Jennifer Hudson? like Right. Right. Or... Well, I think what got us on the on the on it was like being able to pull off a guitar or rock on a guitar. So yes, to shred. Right. So who is the best <laughs> guitarist? Who is the best guitarist that's also an actor? I bet. I bet somebody knows. I bet. I bet actual musicians. I mean, know. I bet. I bet someone. It might be Johnny yeah, Depp. Someone definitely rips. It might be. It Depp. could. It could be. Yeah. The, the guy rips. <laughs> Like, I feel like uh, Dave Grohl... Well, he pulls it off. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. Dave Grohl would know the answer to this. He'd be like, you know who actually rips? And we'd go, who? And he'd tell us. That's how the yeah. conversation would go. Should he, should Dave Grohl be the second guest on the uh, on the podcast? Well, now he's like the sixth. Yeah, we've had guests. We've had other people speak on yeah. microphones. Yeah. My, Mike, we had microphones. <laughs> the whole bachelor party. I'm counting them. <laughs> Adam doesn't remember Yo, no, that weekend. We need a moment of silence. Yeah. Yes, points! <laughs> Just taking a breath. That's microphone. <laughs> we had microphone. <laughs> All right, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> We're just taking a break, anybody. <laughs> Does anybody have any apologies? We had Mike Roach up. <laughs> Take Max. <laughs> or um, gimmicks. <laughs> <laughs> any gimmicks? Take Max <laughs> or G Willikers? <laughs> Um, well, you know, uh, I Stop. would like to apologize to Adam. I Stop see that he's yelling noise. off screen. He might have a break in. Yeah. <laughs> I think his getting... docs came through very quickly and they there are people him. at his house. They found him. Adam, if I could just apologize, I didn't realize you were such a wealth of Jason Schwartzman knowledge and you know all of his side projects and bands. Well, that, and Dude, that song came out right when I moved to California and I was yeah. like... Do new 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 Let me met the one on one California And I was like yeah. Jason Schwartzman Slow motion walking through the campus of uh, OCC Orange Coast Community College mm -hmm. So yeah it has a special place in my heart And yeah. a big shout out to Jason and Phantom Planet I just remember my high school girlfriend had a crush on him And it, it like upset me Yeah get, get over <laughs> it He's great get over it I'm sorry
But that era, the era of moving to, <laughs> bring it up. Let's talk about it. Let's take an hour. Yeah, bring, bring it up. When we moved to LA, like that, because I, I moved to LA when you guys moved to OC, I assume. Um, that era, music changed like overnight. And I thought that because I moved to LA, bands like The Killers or Franz Ferdinand or like these, all these. The Hives. New, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Hives. The Vines. I was like, oh, music's different here. And I didn't realize Jet. like. Everyone back home was getting the same fucking music. The Postal Service came out. Yeah, wasn't that all like the Garden State soundtrack really fucking popped a lot of that, right? And that was 2004, I think. Yeah, shout out to Natalie Portman. Shout out to Yeah, let's get her on the pod. (laughs) Yeah, should she be the next guest? Yeah. I'm going to uh, the Green Day concert, Green Day Weezer, uh, Fallout Boy. You're at, not gonna. Uh, you're gonna explode. Dodger Stadium tonight. You're, you're going to Ooh. spontaneously combust. Yeah, it's. A bit, I know. I'm so excited. Like I've never seen it. I don't know if I've seen a concert with that many people. There's gonna be like sixty thousand people there. That will be very fun. Be safe. You mean you've never been to a show that big? Peri- uh, like I don't know if I've been to a show that big. I've seen the Foo Fighters in a stadium in Australia. But I don't know if it was uh, as dude, big as Dodger to, Stadium. You've been to Jazz Fest, and like when we saw Arcade Fire and Jazz Fest, wait, that was like, and that is true. Yeah, that, that's like true. A, and we I've all been were to Bonnaroo. at Bonnaroo, where there's a hundred thousand people. Yeah. but that's a festival. That's Fe- that's festival. That's different. But that's a festival. That's not just a concert. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. I don't know if I've been to a like a concert. It's science. I've been to a festival, which is different because you're you will like okay. walk and watch a band for like twenty minutes and then walk to see something. I agree, else. Adam. I agree. Nobody was walking anywhere, but sure. Okay. What is the difference? A concert because you're not purchasing. You're not in one arena. You're not purchasing for like one band. Okay. okay. So so is it different that you're going to see three bands instead of one? Like what the what are we talking about? Yeah, what the fuck is this line? Oh, cuz there's always an opener. There's always an opener. At festivals you have a lot of concerts. You also have a lot of stages, guys. This is a one mm-hmm. stage show. But at, but no, but but when we saw Lil Wayne, there was one performance happening and it was Lil Wayne. Sure, but it's multiple stages. No, I'm sure there was somebody performing on the B stage. It was probably like Blues Travelers or something. No, it was who did I mm-hmm. who did I need to see? <laughs> you oh. wanted us to see like Steve Winwood. Uh yeah, it was the Blues Travelers and I wish we would have <laughs> went and watched him. Winwood? Bruce Hornsby. Bruce Hornsby. Bruce that's Hornsby. Oh, that's good. Look him up, guys. So He's got a couple good songs. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to the that show tonight. I'm very excited about it. It should be fun. That'll be fun. Dodger Stadium. I haven't seen Weezer in years, but I feel like I saw them like t- like three times, like right out of high school. Like just it was all Weezer. Say it ain't so. Oh yeah, Weezer Weezer tours. I I hosted the uh, Weezer cruise. I'm sure I talked about it on the podcast, but I hosted the Weezer cruise ship like seven years ago or something Mm -hmm. uh which was absolutely absolutely insane to just be on a cruise ship with uh with like two thousand weezer fans (laughs) it was it was awesome that is heavy a lot of hoodies a lot of zipped up hoodies on that a lot of zipped up hoodies yeah Everyone's very pale. Everyone's wearing Converse. Right. Cool glasses. (laughs) A lot of a lot of ecto. A lot of cool glasses. Ectomorphs. They gave me the microphone because I was the MC of the like shit of the whole ship. For the for the weekend, for the bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> oh yeah, you just walked around, right? <laughs> yeah, and they're like, "Here, you could talk, and this is your god mic. You can talk to the entire ship whenever you'd like." And I'm like, "Okay." And uh, then I went to the casino, and then I was like, "Hey, come on down to the casino, see me in the casino." And then I started losing money and like getting more and more drunk, and I'm like, "Don't come to the casino. They're taking all your money." And then. <laughs> and then I was like, "Fuck it, this is bullshit." And then they, someone came and took my microphone away from me. Right. I thought maybe you naked gunned it and took it in the bathroom. Right, or taken constipated the again, <laughs> jerking off, uh, in the bathroom. just jerking off again. But I'm who does number two work for? <laughs> the God mic. Take the mic away. Hey, Durs, <laughs> yeah. what is an ectomorph? I heard you say that. I don't know what that is, and I like that. I like that. Uh, uh, it's a body type. It's uh, somebody who's oh, who's like very make- slender. <laughs> oh, right. Um, there's three body types, very right? Very narrow. Yeah, there's a ectomorph or thin and narrow. Mesomorphs are kind of like the V shape, and an endomorph, I think, is what it's like. A, Freaking endo. An upside down V, where you've got big hips and narrow shoulders kind of thing. That shit's important. Oh, okay. So what are what are we? What are what are we, Durs? 
Yeah, if you had to categorize You us. and I are probably yeah. uh, mesomorphs. I would say mm. Blake is an ectomorph. And what's mesomorph again? That's the V. Like, like what you want, nice. classically handsome. You're he- you're heavy up top, and yeah, yeah. like um, small dick. Yeah. And yeah. then small dick. K- yeah. Kyle. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you're a shapeshifter, Kyle. Yeah, I feel like Kyle. You, yeah. You've been them all. <laughs> no. I've seen. I've seen you P90X yourself okay. to an ectomorph. <laughs> Uh, I've seen yeah. you as a mesomorph, and then I can't stop eating. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I I think Kyle's uh no Kyle with those big shoulders. No, pal. that's fine. It's yeah, hard. Kyle, it's... Kyle does have big ass shoulders. He's got the. You're a mesomorph for sure. Big check shoulders. What's the fat one? What's the fat one? You're a can't stop morph. I eat What's because I'm unhappy. Morphing. Yeah, I'm a I'm. Thank you. You're not a endomorph. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. I don't know if I'm a mesomorph because my, I, I mean, I'm like, I'm the same size all the way down. There's like, there's not a, it's not like my legs are skinny. Sorry, I have big sorry. ass fucking legs. It, it, I'm just. What I'm saying is that this is like, um, if your body's like, it's what your body should be. And then it's up to you how you take care of it. Mm. <laughs> like, look all at Blake. Right. Like, Blake is okay. super skinny, but he works out and lifts fucking weights. So, like, Thank he's you. got muscle on there, right? But if he didn't mm. do anything, uh, he would just be a little mm. skinny piece of shit. What did they call you <laughs> in high school? Afro fetus. Afro fetus. Afro fetus. Yeah. That's yeah. right. <laughs> and and then you started lifting weights, and you you punched the he mirror. Li- he lifted down. that nickname away. Then I found God. Right. In, a in box. the gym. My box God. Smash his face. Perfect. My iron Jesus. Yeah. Uh, any take backs, giveaways, apologies? I already apologized. Um, thank you, and I and I want to say thank you for that. And I would like to thank you for apologizing because yeah, okay. uh, that, I don't know that why means a lot to me. I, I didn't get thank an you. apology for that, and I kind of was backing you up, Adam, the whole time. And okay, thank you. I would like to thank you as well. And I apo- I apologize to you, Durs, as well. I, mm-hmm. I should have listened. They hard stance me. Like, I don't know Phantom Planet. Yeah. Like, the fact that's so in my wheelhouse of shit that I should know. Yeah. I'm sorry. Music from 2001 and 2 and 3 and 4. Fuck, <laughs> oh, I said I'm sorry. Jesus. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. That's okay. That's good. Today was pretty crazy, huh? <laughs> Today we talked about everything. Um, we did. Yeah, we covered it all. And Blake, I want to apologize to you. We didn't get to your vacations. Um, I got a okay. weird feeling it's because maybe we don't care about him. No, I talked about Hawaii and how I was a bitch. Mm-hmm. And that is true. Mm-hmm. That is that's true. I, I think that's how it kicked off. And I already forgot, mm-hmm. and I feel bad. <laughs> so you should apologize for forgetting. I know I should. Burn! And this was yeah, another no. episode of... <laughs> well, did, we all, did we all go through? Kyle, did we did all... You... <laughs> What's up? Did you have any compliments? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd like to apologize for getting Secondhand Lions and uh, Ghost in the Darkness mixed up. Those Thank are two you. completely different films. <laughs> uh, Good. Okay. Never heard of either. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I do like them. Ghost in the Darkness is so fucking sick. And Secondhand Lions, I think, is a tearjerker. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like maybe I take a, a walk. Maybe before I watch Rush Hour and Men in Black, I, I go down this road first. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's more important or I should be watching Men in Black and Rush Hour? Um, butterfly effect. Start there. Okay, oh, that's right. Yep. And now, oh, wait, seen that. <laughs> now <laughs> this has been that. an episode oh. Oh. of this, this is, is important. 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 Is it? Also, just watch Blow again. Oh, dude. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, shit. All right. Is this like a Christmas Dang. song? You need bing, bing, bing. for a second there. Bro, so jealous of Schwartzman. Dude. Jealous yeah, of Schwartzman. Sorry, that was 15 Time seconds. Of year. Mm. Great. Uh, song. All right. That was important. And we're done.